want to welcome everyone that have come from uh, Periscope, Prayer Rhyme, First Timers, welcome. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isiki. Welcome you from Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry, Brampton, Canada, Ontario. I'm going to talk this topic called Deliverance of Midnight Prison and the Chain Problem. There is there is, there is powers called midnight prison and the chain problem. And we, we have seen this many times. That when people are in the, mid, in the midnight, they, they, there is power that is working at midnight. Either there is good powers or good bad powers. The midnight is the midnight that you can connect yourself. Midnight is the time that you connect yourself to the, to the throne of God. The Bible says in the book of uh, Psalms 30 verse 5, the book of Psalms 30 verse 5, the Bible says, For his anger is but for a moment. For his anger is but for a moment. And his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may, may tell for the night, but joy comes with in the morning. You might be suffering at night, you might be crying at night, but the joy comes in the morning. Night can be weeping, but the Bible saying, For his anger endure it, but a moment in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Joy cometh in the morning. When you are in the midst of trouble, you, when you are in the chain, when you are suffering, you cry night. You have been going through a, a trauma at night. Night is when sickness rises up. Night is when you feel like you want you 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 wish it would be morning, but the joy will come in the morning. Midnight prison, midnight midnight chain problem is very hard, but the good news is that the morning is coming with good news. The joy will come in the morning through your action, through faith, through doing something. You cannot remain there weeping. You cannot remain there crying. But the good news is, as we look in the book of Acts 16, verse 22 to 25, the Bible says, And the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrate laid off their clothes, and they condemned con and they commanded to be to be beaten to, to beat them. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into, into prison, charging the jail to keep them safely. Who, having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks. Verse 25, that is the message. That every one of you who is going through difficult time, who is crying, 25 is your message. The Bible says, And at mid midnight, Paul and Cyrus prayed and sang songs unto God, and the prisons heard them. And the prisons heard them. When that night they were crying, they were in pain because they were beaten and they were tightened and they were put in the prison. Now, after that, they realized that if, even if we start crying here, it will not help us. We will start composing songs and praise God and sing to him because the joy is coming in the morning. The joy is coming in the morning. For sure, the joy came in the morning. Paul says, give thanks all the time. Give God thanks. Even though you don't have money to pay your rent, you can still open your mouth and praise him. 
even though you are sick, you are so sick that you cannot even turn your head, but you can still press him and thank him. This is what happened. When, when Paul and Silas work, let me tell you that God is God. When these things happened, God was there and he was watching. Jesus was there and he was watching. Paul and Silas, they did not do anything wrong. But they were arrested and beaten very seriously. And they were thrown in inner prison to serve there. And maybe they were going to be killed. But they started praising God and thanking. At the quake of deliverance, it fall upon them and they were released. They would be at the quake of, of, bread of deliverance. That would fall upon you at, meeting, at midnight. Deliverance, at the quake of deliverance, would fall upon you. Deliverance of the midnight prison and the chain problem would tear to pieces in Jesus' name. Anything that is holding you, any chain that you have been chained, patterns, chain problem, you, you have been trying everything, nothing, problem come upon problem. You have so many problems that you, nobody can even help you. That is what we call chain problem. But study, praise, and worship God to forget everything that, that, that you have. Praise and worship open the, the gates and open the doors that set Paul and Silas free from the prison. You would be delivered from midnight prison and chain problems. You've been having a lot of problems. No money, no job, no husband, no children. Sickness, everything belongs to you. No money. No children, no husband, no, no house, everything. Chain problem. But there is nothing you can do. Just start praising God. Start praising God. You will provoke the earthquake of, of heaven. And it will come down and destroy everything that is struggling in your life. This is what happened. Now, when you see verse 26, the Bible says, And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison was shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bands were loosened. So, every problem, that chain problem that you have been in, it is going to be opened by fire in the name of Jesus. The earthquake of God is going to strike the problem you are facing in the name of Jesus. It is going to be destroyed by fire, by thunder. When you know, when you decide not to mourn, when you decide to praise and worship God, as the Bible says, in the midst of problem, the Lord will revive you. When you look at this, problem that poor and silas faced it was not easy it was a difficult time they were men and men of god they have not done anything wrong they were just doing the work of god and here is the multitude who rest up against them and they were beaten many 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 stripes but they they didn't they didn't they didn't look at that they didn't even they were not bitter about that I've repeated this all the time. But the truth of the matter, about midnight, it was before midnight. You know, at night, that they were arrested at night. Now, as the Bible says, you may be weeping, but the joy come in the morning. So, at midnight, when they decided to compose songs and press songs, hymns, and singing to God, God has to intervene. Because he was watching and see everything which was going on with them. In the book of Job 35 verse 10, the Bible says, The book of Job 35 verse 10, the Bible says, But none said, Where is God my maker? Who gave it songs in the night? 
But Nani says, where is God my maker who gave it songs in the night? The Lord would give songs in the night. When you've been crying, when you have been going through some difficult time, the deliverance will come at night. The deliverance of the midnight prison. You will be released and you will be set free. That is when songs comes at night. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 24 verse 15, the Bible says, Wherefore glorifying ye the Lord in the fires. Psalms 24 verse 15, the Bible says, Wherefore glorifying ye the Lord in the fires, even the name of the Lord God of Israel in the islands, islands of the sea. You may, you may, you will be glorifying God in the midst of fire, in the fire where you are being put to, to be burned to ashes. But you can still glorify God there. Look at what happened, uh, uh, this, the three Hebrews, when they were thrown in the fire to burn there. They were thrown in the fire and the fourth man appeared. They didn't mourn there. They didn't cry there. They didn't beat themselves. They, they were just glorifying God. They said, our God will provide. We will not burn. They declared they will not die. They will live. They were having that faith that nothing will, will remove them because they believe the living God. So you believe the living God that you serve. That, that chain problem that has been following you. Problem after problem after another, and you are you are praying. You are not you are not really a pagan. You have been praying. You are in the church, but nothing is working. Problem upon problem, problem upon problem. The earthquake of God is going to fall upon your problem and destroy them in the name of Jesus. We thank God that God is able to destroy every witchcraft and evil people that is working against you. The joy is coming in the morning. You might be suffering, you might be going through difficult time, but the joy is coming in the morning. Don't, don't, don't give up. Don't be discouraged. In the midst of fire, you will still glorify God. If these the three Hebrews, but uh, Sadrach, Misak, and Abednego, if they were crying, they did not take any faith action. They could have been burned to ashes, but they lived. They believed God. And they said, no matter what will happen, we will still glorify God in the midst of fire. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Father. We thank you that you are the same God. The Bible says the, the, Jesus is the same today, yesterday, and forever. God is the same God of Daniel, God of, uh, of, of, of our, our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That is God that we serve. God who never fell, who, who knows you by your name. He knows what you are going through. It doesn't mean that God does not know what you are going through. He knows. And he's waiting to see what action are you taking. And the Lord will bring out quick and destroy your enemies. Your deliverance will come in the midst of your problem. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to decree a civic war among demons, spirit, personalities, and the power set up to oppose these prayers. And I will break their backbone by the power in the blood of Jesus. Yes, any power, any demon, I decree civic, civic war among demons. I am talking to demons right now. Spirits. Personality and power set up to oppose these prayers. I break their backbones by the power and the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now, read the angel of the truth. Began to read scripture. Torment every lying demon in the name of Jesus. Let the angel right now. Let the angel. Right now, read the angel of the Lord. Let the angel of the Lord. The true angel of the Lord began to read the scriptures and torment every lying demon 
in Jesus' name. Every lying demon in your life that is a lying against you, that is saying that God is not able to deliver you to help you, let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let the angels of God start reading to them the scriptures, which is saying that they will never prosper in the name of Jesus. I pray that God will deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the, the, let the, the fire of the Holy Ghost begin to burn every began 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 to burn even as as you invite the holy spirit and the hand over you are battled to the lord in jesus name i pray that god almighty will begin to fight for you in the name of jesus when you start composing songs praise and worship when you start thanking god at the midst of your problem yes thank you thank you treasure thank you jesus hallelujah Father, I pray that you will release 12 religion of warriors angels to assist these people in this battle. Let your angelic host bind and, re and restrain every demonic resistance. Let their intimidation and the weak and the weak wicked every satanic opposition in the name of Jesus. I pray that Lord, I pray that you will dispatch special angels of battle to evacuate stop on spirits and their agents to the land of the wicked for massive destruction by divine earthquake thunder and brimstone in the mighty name of jesus christ that god will destroy your enemies that is working against your life in the mighty name of jesus christ god disgraced the enemies the lord will bring shame and disgrace when the enemy they are happy they they are looking and see how you are suffering when they know that you are finished in the morning the joy will come in the morning they will see you driving mercedes benz in the morning they will see you driving having your own home in the in the morning they will see you a wedding when they thought that they have finished you hallelujah in the morning they will see you holding your baby when they thought that you would never have children in the name of jesus christ god will disgrace your enemies and bring them to shame big one all those wizards and witches witches that have vowed that you will never be happy you will be weeping at night you will be weeping weeping crying throughout you will never be happy that sickness is going to kill you in the morning they will see you clean like what happened to naman when Naman was full of rebelcy, he was, he was like, he was not, not going to recover. But in the morning, he was healed. When he went and dip himself seven times, and he was healed like his skin turned to the skin of the baby. Whereby the enemies were watching him and saying, you will be rejected, you will not be a person again, going back to your family. You see, they, you can be poor, you can be suffering, you have no money in your pocket, you have nothing. But in the morning, your bank will, you will kiss your checkbook and you will kiss your bank. When you walk there majestically, walking and uh, lifting one leg up and down, like one leg is short and another is, is long, that you walk with the confidence in the morning. You go to your ATM, you, you remove your money, you use your, your, your visa card without thinking of anything. In the morning, your tears will gone in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You shall possess your possession. You will possess everything the enemy has taken. Let 12 region, regions of angels of restoration go forth unto the land of the living and of the dead to recover every blessing you have lost in the past in jesus name every blessings everything that you have lost the lord almighty is going to restore back to you again in the name of jesus the angels of god is going to force those demons those evil wherever they are all in your blessings to vacate and give it in the name of jesus i i am praying for you in the name of jesus christ I pray that God, today, let the angels of favor be released to favor you in the name of Jesus. Let the angels of prosperity be dispatched to bring prosperity and abundance to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
You need prosperity. You need to prosper. You need the favor of God. Your angels, the angels of God, will bring prosperity to you in the name of Jesus. Let the angels of favor be released to favor you. The angels of favor to, to be released to favor you and bring prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Oh Lord, you are the church of all the earth. Let your righteous judgment overturn every satanic judgment against your life in Jesus' name. Every satanic judgment against your life, God Almighty is the church of this earth. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God and my Father, I pray that that judgment of the uh, let let God who is a, a righteous judgment overturn every satanic judgment against you against your life against you in the name of Jesus.